Hi there, OnePlus 6 are back with their sixth iteration of their flagship killer, the OnePlus 6. A lot of changes have been made to please the fans because it seems that, well, rocking the fastest on Tutu form is just not enough. Welcome to my OnePlus 6 first impressions. Is the new good? So, out with the old, in with the new. The new OnePlus 6 has a bigger display, has a notch, is made of glass, and it's waterproof but without any official IP rating. First things first, the glass panel on the back makes the phone look much much more premium. Inside the package OnePlus have also added a case this time with their jazz charger and USB Type-C cable. The new display is huge, it's 6.3 inches but it's almost all display, the bezels on the sides are almost non-existent and the notch on the top is really really small. Um, the new glass design with Gorilla Glass on the front and on the back really makes the OnePlus 6 stand out and feel more premium. And if you love the metal, well it's gone in favor of the glass, but OnePlus 6 chose three men with a headphone jack and USB Type-C which is cool but no stereo speaker. And it's again the cheapest Snapdragon 845 device on the market with a minimum of 6GB RAM configuration. On the back only the primary sensor of the two has changed to the IMX519 and it now has optical and electronic chemistry stabilization. And it's the first OnePlus to have that since the OnePlus 3T. The back also houses the rear fingerprint scanner but like the OnePlus 5T the OnePlus 6 comes with you guessed it, Face ID Unlock and it's very, very fast and accurate. Another really good bonus is that you have the AMOLED display, the Optic AMOLED, which has a always on display feature and you can choose between one of four presets, including my personal favorite analog clock one and the silent ring and vibrate switch for the sound makes a triumphant return as well. The OnePlus 6 may have added glass, but it didn't add much to its weight. It's still around 180 grams and it's still around 8.2 at its thickest point and around 7.3 at its thinnest point because the edges are all curved, making a very, very nice view of the phone. The phone is now bigger with the bigger display, but I could still carry out my phone gymnastics with it. It may not be the most friendly one hand usage device I've gotten, however. Um, and the OnePlus 6 also comes with new screen gestures carried out from other OnePlus phone swipe from left to right to go back, swipe up to go to home and swipe up and hold to view your recent tasks. This has been implemented in any other Oppo phone you've purchased recently like the R15s or the F7 or even the Oppo Realme 1 which I reviewed earlier. You can still go back to using the on-screen keys but this big phone with such tiny keys on the bottom is really not meant to be used like this. Uh, for the user interface, the Oxygen OS is as smooth and as silky as ever. The phone runs really fast, you get uh, an instant access to the app drawer and you can pull down notification shape from practically anywhere. You also have the press down to view additional uh, information or edit and install an app like any other Android 8.1 or your phone. Yes, that's right, this is winning Android 8.1 or your with confirmed at least Android P or 9.0 coming to the OnePlus as well. The user experience still feels a lot, lot more similar to a uh, Google Pixel than it is to any other Chinese phone out there. OnePlus 6, again, also comes with a near field communicator or NFC, so you can choose to pay with your phone if you want to or not use it if you don't want to. And now you can calibrate the display characteristics according to Super RGB or DCI P3 adaptive mode or you can simply go with the default uh, a bit oversaturated AMOLED view of the display. If I would guess that the quality of the display would be practically the same as the OnePlus 5 and the OnePlus 5T before it, nothing really exceptional but really decent display and the customizable LED still makes a triumphant return and you guessed that it's on the notch. Uh, which, by the way, can be hidden in a uh, software setting, in the system settings. Uh, but I really don't see a point since all the notch is only being fully utilized on the home screen. Any of the apps, you just still see a border there. Yes, you see the time and uh, all your like Wi-Fi signal and stuff like that on the right, but it's 
still not a full full screen 19 by 9 experience as i would have liked and maybe with android p google are pushing more developers to actually make use of those various new aspect ratios that have come up the phone's display however even with that very small notch is still smaller than, than the iphone and any other phone i've come with a notch it looks really cool and well it's just awesome for viewing media and the sound quality is pretty pretty good for a single speaker On the camera side, I've taken a few shots which I'll show you here and I can definitely tell that the IMX519 is a really, really decent sensor. With optical stabilization, it should have better photo quality than the OnePlus 5 and the OnePlus 5T which frankly a little bit disappointed me. So this has been it for my OnePlus 6 first impressions to you next week. For my full review, subscribe for more honest reviews and check out my other videos and there's also the OnePlus 6 price if you want to buy that from the link in the description below.